thank you so much this is darling fee and thanks for the subscription now we want to use the calculator to solve questions involving composite function by the end of this presentation you should see how easy it is to use calculator to solve questions involving things like that if you are ready let's go so the first question evaluates f of g of 3 where f of x is equal to 2x minus 7 and g of x is equal to x squared plus 4 now we want to enter this on the calculator now the key thing that you need to understand here is that this is what you are going to use in entering the data okay so the question itself uh, not the function now you will always have to enter the function that is close to the number you are looking for and here the uh, function close is the g so that means we must enter g of x first and so to do that as we did earlier you can always in, in place of the g of x you can always use a variable to represent and so for example i can say that um, i want to represent g of x with a so alpha a and then the rest will follow so it's equal to that is alpha then you press the calc symbol and then we have x squared so alpha x and then i square then plus four so i have the plus four <coughs> and then we need to also program the calculator to um solve both the f of x and g of x at the same time and how do we program the calculator simply press the alpha symbol and then below the alpha there is a colon so press on it this means we are programming it to find the two functions at the same time now if you will watch the part one of the composite function i told you after the colon the next function there is x in it so you can see that there's x in the next function but you when you are entering on the calculator do not bring this x instead the first variable that you brought the e should now take the place of the x and so i go back to my calculator and then i will have instead of 2x i will now make it 2a so go back to the calculator i have 2 and then alpha then i click a remember i am bringing a here because i introduce a here if you introduce b in your case then here must be b whatever variable you bring first that same variable will now take over the second function so 2a minus 7 so minus 7 i have it there let me check and be sure that you have entered the right thing once you are convinced that you have entered the right expression then you press on the calc button it will ask you what value of x are you looking for and the value of x will be determined by the question the question says we are looking for f of g of 3 meaning the value of x is 3 and so we now press 3 and then you hit the equal sign button so the first one you are hitting the equal sign button twice so the, the first one meaning if i put 3 into g of x i will get 13 and so let me hit the equal sign button again and now i am getting 19 meaning when i put uh, when i put 3 into f of x first you get 13 then the result when you put it into f of x you are getting 19 so the right answer is 19 and that is option d and we are done for question one let's now go to question two so now the second question says evaluate f of f of minus root 2 where f of x is equal to 2x squared minus 3 so always remember here we have been fortunate that all the functions are f f f so but the key thing is that always remember that the function close to the number is what you enter first so let's go now in place of this f of x when i'm entering it on the calculator i will change the f of x to either a b c d e whatever you want so i want to replace f of x with y and so i go to my calculator and then you press alpha and then y 
so i have replaced the f of x with y and then going forward i have is equal to this equal sign you press alpha and then you press the calc button then you enter this expression so so the first one you are entering the expression the way you see it in the question so i have two alpha x and then squared minus three so minus three i am done with it now because i am looking for f of f of negative root two meaning there are two different functions that i am looking for and so i need to program the calculator to find the second function and to do that you press the alpha and then you press the column sign and now we want to enter the second function remember the first function is f and the second function too is f and so the second function when you are entering the variables in the second function will not be replaced by the y that you brought here and so i am going to have two then in place of this x i will now bring the y so alpha and then y and then don't forget to square so you square it and then minus three so i have minus three now i want the calculator to solve it for me so you press the calc button it is asking what is the value of x now from the question the value of x is negative root two and so i press negative and then the roots so i have root two and so root two now the key thing is that you can see that a bracket or a parenthesis has been opened so once a bracket is open please remember to close it so let me close my parenthesis and then you hit the equal sign button so the first equal sign that you hit it is giving you the first f now if you are looking for the second function press the equal sign again so the second equal sign is giving me negative one and so it means the right option for this is negative one so the third question says for p of x is equal to x squared minus 5x and k of x is equal to 4 minus 3x squared what is the value of p of k of negative 1 over 3 now like i said if you are using calculator always first enter the function close to the number and here the function close is the k and so we are going to first enter the k of x now in place of this k of x we can replace it with y so i go back to my calculator and then i simply press alpha and then y so alpha y then there is equal to so that is alpha and then the equals and you press calc and so it's equal to 4 minus 3 x squared so 3 alpha x and then you square so always sorry uh, 3 alpha okay so alpha x and then you square it so the key thing that we need to take here is that at all times you are entering the first function fully okay the first function you are entering it fully and then we want to program the calculator so you bring the alpha and then you press on the um, colon then the second function you replace the x with the y so i will have alpha y then you square because there's a square here so i square the y and then minus five so five in place of the x i put y there so alpha y and then you press the equal sign button so that is you press the calc it is asking what is the value of x now the question says the value of x is negative one over three so i press minus then one and then over so you press this and then three then you hit the equal sign button so the first one you are getting 11 over three remember you are to press the equal sign twice so that's the first one and then the second one i am getting minus 44 over 9 so the correct answer is option e and that we are done thank you so much for your time